Uh, you guys may notice that I have nine, that we now have 97 golden spatulas, even though we ended the last episode with only 90 golden spatulas. That's because I got the seven golden spatulas you get from Mr. Krabs off camera. Uh, I didn't really, I didn't really feel the need to show them because if you look down here, it's literally just give a bunch of shiny objects to Mr. Krabs. Like, look at this. That's literally all it is. So I just grinded up a bunch of shiny objects off camera and got all the golden spatulas. But with that, hey everybody, it's the McMaster 14. Welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. In the last episode, we finished up the very last world, SpongeBob Dream. And in this episode, we're finally going to be heading inside the Chum Bucket Lab. You only need 75 golden spatulas, but I went ahead and got pretty much all of them. But if we go ahead a, a bit... Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket! Yes! Right where you're standing! Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom news flash. And then the TV just explodes. I really like that little detail. I just like how the TV falls from the air. Let me get another news flash, just like the other two. And now, before we head into that door, there is one last golden spatula that we can get inside the chum bucket. If we go in here, it's not that obvious, but you can actually jump on these walls. And that can get us our 98th golden spatula. Also, I like, the, I like how the cricket noise sim s says that like there's no one here, which is pretty accurate for the chum bucket. And now, you know, with our, like, 23 extra golden spatulas, let's head inside Plankton's lab to defeat the source of the robot menace at last. Look at that guy. That big square head and those short shorts? That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen! Wait, that hideous thing looks like me! I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me! Jump in, jelly beans! A robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! <gasps> Plankton! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold, the Duplicatotron. I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton. Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob! Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy... Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! And here we are, folks, the main event! A gauntlet of ever-increasing ferocity! Honestly, I don't know why Planet even bothered to put a disobey switch on the machine. But anyway, he created the whole plot of this There's game, so that's a good thing. Anyway, welcome Let's to the fight Sponge against SpongeBot Steel Pants. Yeah, his official name is actually not Robot SpongeBob. There's another opportunity for SpongeBob! What you want to do to defeat him is you want him to get is you want to do it. You want to make him do his karate tax, then you can do a bubble Looks bounce. Looks like SpongeBob on may the have green a spot. moment to act here. Did you hit him twice? Robot Plankton will get into the battle. And to wake Robot SpongeBob back up, you have to hit Robot Plankton 
with a... The robot better change tactics and fast! All right, now we've taken out the two on his hands. We can start firing cruise while we've had all the other ones. Suck it to him, SpongeBob! He's gonna start doing some karate attacks to make the platforms flip. Now let's fire more cruise bubbles. Suck it to him, SpongeBob! He's gonna have some pretty annoying karate attacks. Oh, and the robot is down! There we go. He's actually almost already down. The humanity, or should Ow. I say, the fishanity? Oh, there we go. That you, was a we knocked down Robo, Robo Plankton again. And this is my favorite attack Karate. Alright, let's fire more cruise bubbles. That's the ticket! I just love that attack so much, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Karate. Alright, he's doing more of his karate attack. Now let's fire another cruise though. There's only three nice move spots by left. SpongeBob. This match is just about over. And I guess I will show you what happens oh, when you take I damage. Can't watch. He laughs okay, at you. Maybe just a little. And you fall down that here, so you have to Sponge get on those springboard and get fight. back up. Starts doing his attacks again. Also, not sure, Ro not, not sure why Robopine isn't firing the lasers right now. Because he could definitely defeat me in a, like a minute with those lasers. Alright, and now just two left. And after this cruise, well, it'll and just the be one. Is down. And if you're not good with aiming with the cruise level, you could just you could just do this to Robo Plankton. That's it. Now issue the coup de But you will fall and you need to get back up. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karate. That's my favorite attack by far. <laughs> you have to be quick right here because he attacks kind of fast. And now, let's bonk him on the nose for the final hit. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrinking! No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger! SpongeBob, he just flew into your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, Robot Plankton. This is just getting too weird for me. Will SpongeBob be able to neutralize the giant robot's brain? Or will SpongeBob go home defeated and dejected? Stay tuned. Stay tuned indeed. Now, I was thinking about breaking the robot into two different parts, but after seeing how easily we defeated the first part, I think we're going to handle the second part right now. Anyway, we get started, and we have some Duplicatotron 1000s to deal with, and some robots. We got a, we got a hammer and a tartar sauce. And once we get to defeat all the robots and the Duplicatotron, Robo Plankton will appear, and he's going to start firing lasers at us. It's just like it's just like in the first phase of the fight, you have to wait for him to stop firing and then you can fire a cruise bubble at him. But he does move quite a lot, so it's kinda hard to hit him with a cruise bubble. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Dang it, I thought I just barely missed him. 
Oh, and also you can't get up close and hit him like, like you can't just like jump up and do a bubble spin. You actually, you have to, you have to fire a cruise level, which I'm really bad at. Oh, I can't okay. watch. Okay, maybe just a little. And the robot there is we go. Down. We finally got it. Oh, and as you can probably guess, this fight took me a long time to complete nice on my first playthrough because this of how badly I was doing with the over. bubble. But anyway, we head on to the next part. Now we have a chuck. And we want to fire a cruise bubble right at the dude. What was oh, that? That was a doozy! Was I seeing things? I swear that... I swear... Or at least that one hit. I swear, that first cruise ball just flew right through the D-1000. Anyway, now we've gotten rid of the chuck. Robot Plankton appears. Dang it. I keep barely missing him. Oh, come on! That was a direct hit! Why are all my, why are all my cruise bubbles glitching out all of a sudden? Oh, close encounters of the painful kind! Also, out. That was a direct hit! I don't care what any of you say, that was a direct hit! Oh, that's gonna sting! Also, I'm kinda taking a lot of damage, which is kinda worrying me. Alright, we actually got out it. Alright, and also we're only down to two underwear, which is kinda worrying because there's no there's no way we can replenish underwear in here. And if you spoiler alert, if you die in this area, you have to start the whole area over again. The fuse. All right, this time we have a monsoon that we can easily take care of. Also, fodder. Really? I'm taking on fodder since jellyfish field. Alright. I'm trying... I'm trying to hit it. I'm so inaccurate. Like, for real. I've been so good with the bubble throughout the entire game, and now... I just can't use it. At there we go, we finally hit it. Alright, now in this phase you can kind of use it a little bit because sometimes Robo Plankton will get stuck behind that ramp and you can just use the ramp to block his lasers. Suck it to him, oh, that's how we got him. That's how we got him first try. Bounce up, bounce across here. That's the ticket! Also, I really love the I really love the newscaster fish. Just like commentating on everything. Also, this deal with Terrorbron is going to make it kind of complicated because we constantly have to deal with the camera. And also Chuck's missile. Alright, let's Alright, we got rid of Chuck. Now I don't think he can spawn back. Oh, the humanity! Ow. Or should I say Damn, down the to one health. Alright, now I just now we just have to do this. Now we just have to complete the rest of this fight with one health. Suck it to there him, we go. SpongeBob! Also, the cruise level does have a little bit of a splash radius when you hit, so that's pretty good. SpongeBob, hit the fuse! All right, now we get up here, and I believe there's no more Duplicatotrons left. We get up to this small platform, and it's just Robo Plankton. Got his lasers? So I really don't want to lose this. A cruise bubble down one of those brain holes would be very prudent about now. All right, you said it, newscaster.
is conveniently shaped as a target. And now, we can get through here. I'm under so much pressure to not get hit because, like I said, if we get hit once, we're gonna die. Looks like SpongeBob may right. have a moment to act here. There we go. Fire another cruise bubble. That's oh, and by the way, hit. you you do not want to miss your cruise bubble here because if you miss, then you then nice move Robo by Pine SpongeBob. Is start this you again. match is just about over. It is just about over. If I can just. That's it! There we now go! issue the coup de gras! You said it, Newscasterfish! Here's the coup de gras! And that is our 100th golden spatula! I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized coffee grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Who does manage an awesome let's play? Mick Master 4XT! It was really an awesome project! Mick Master 4XT! If not every nonsense be something you wish! Alright, it was an awesome experience for everyone here! Mick Master 4XT! And the boss is really awesome! Mick Master 4XT! Mick Master 14! Mick Master 14! Mick Master 14! <laughs> Get ready for my parody of the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. It's going to be hitting iTunes pretty soon. But anyway, that was SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Honestly, this is one of my favorite games of all time, and I really enjoyed doing a let's play of this game. There were so many good parts of it. I feel like almost every level was was made really well. I feel like all the boss fights were awesome. Uh, the platforming challenges and pretty much all the challenges in the game actually were done really well. And obviously, this is just an awesome game and I encourage you to play it if you have not played it already. Not that this game isn't without fault, because there are a few faults in this game like now, I didn't really like Kelp Forest just because of how dark it was. And also, uh... 
And also, I didn't really like the mission where you had to... Where you have to get shiny objects from Mr. Krabs, because... If you just play the game normally, there's no way you're going to have enough shiny objects for Mr. Krabs by the time you're ready to fight the final boss. And honestly, me, just gr the mission for grinding up shiny objects was just so annoying that I hated it even more than the Tiki Roundup mission from Kelp Forest. And I hated the Tiki Roundup mission from Kelp Forest a lot. But honestly, other than Kelp Forest and the annoying missions from Mr. Krabs, the gameplay wasn't actually... It was actually really good. As for the voice acting, the voice acting and cutscenes were also really were also really good. Although Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man were kind of weird because they couldn't get their voice actors to do the part. But honestly, other than those two exceptions, the voice acting was really good and the cutscenes were awesome. Especially that ending cutscene when there's like a million robot planktons. And also that cutscene at the end where. Everyone's in the Krusty Krab singing the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song. That's pretty much your reward for 100%ing the game. It's kind of a small reward, but I do really like it. And honestly, this game was just awesome. All the character, all the characters and levels were awesome. The cutscenes were awesome. The music is beyond awesome. Like, have I mentioned the music? I I don't know a single level where I don't like the music. Like even Kelp Forest, like. The main redeeming quality of Kelp Forest is the music. Like, the music in this game is just awesome. But with that, that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. Let's head back to Bikini Bottom. And next time, on SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom, we'll be exploring some of the other content that we can, we can explore now that we've beaten the final boss. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. McMaster.